Welcome to Linux Mint 21.1 Vera. This version is released. This version was released a few days ago. Let's have a look to the new features. So let's start with the first one. We have a complete new look and feel in Linux Mint. If I start the file manager, you can see it clearly. We have complete new icons. The green icons are gone. We now have yellow icons and also we don't have our green theme in Linux Mint. Our standard theme has turned to blue. If we look to our theming options, here we have a complete new mouse design, B-Bata Modern Classic. If you want, you can also revert the mouse design to DMC white, but I'm leaving this at the default setting. And here we can define our different icon themes. We can also see the new Mint Y theme has another green tone. Also all colors got an update. If you want to use the old colors, just choose Mint Y Legacy. Then we have our old application theme here, but I'm going with the default Mint Y Aqua. Also, we see the different folders here. You can choose between Mint X, which is the very old one, over Mint Y Legacy, which was the current until last release, and to the new one, which looks completely different and I have to get used to it. <laughs> okay, great. Let us close our theme settings and head over to another great new feature, the new sounds. If we open up our sound settings here, just let me play all new sounds. In my opinion, they are really modern and good. What do you think about them? Write it me into the comments. So let us close our sound settings and head over to our driver manager. If I head over to the driver manager and I'm currently offline, then the driver manager shows it to us. So we have to insert a Linux Mint installation disk or USB stick or yeah, <laughs> get online again. So I activate my network again, click on OK. And now it searches for new drivers, but in my case, I don't need any drivers. And the great one, if you don't have any internet connection, now the driver manager recognizes the installation media and can install some packages from the installation media to your system completely offline. That's new. Also, let us head over to our update manager, which we can find here. Okay, at the current state, we don't have any updates. But if we had any updates, then we can see that flat pack updates are also now handled by the update manager. So you now also keep control of your flat pack updates, which is a great improvement. Let us head over to our software manager. It is also kind of new. I open up the software manager and we see, yeah, it's completely changed down here. We have now different application cards, which also now display the current valuation of the users. And if we search, for example, for an application, for example, Spotify, we now see in our search results from which source the entries are coming. For example, from FlatHub, or from the system itself. Also, if you open up an entry of Software Manager, you can see a complete new layout. We have our details bar here, which gives us all important details. And we are also able to change the source from which we want to install Spotify, for example, the system package or flat pack. We can also change it here. And on the second bar, we can see all reviews of the users. I like this new layout very much. Great job, Linux Mint team. So let us close our software manager and let us head over to our next new feature. Let us come to Cinnamon 5.6. It is the new Cinnamon release in Linux Mint 21.1. We see the 
show desktop icon disappeared and it has moved to the bottom right corner way down here. I think this is now similar to Windows 7. So if we opened up different windows and I click on the show desktop button, all windows are disappearing. And if I re-click it, then all windows are back up where they were. I really like this new change because we're confused about the file manager and the old show desktop button because they were both big and green. And yeah, they were mixing up these together, which now can't happen anymore. Also, if we look to our file manager, a few folders, we see that only the text of the folders is now highlighted, not the icons anymore, which looks a way better than before. Then let us close our file manager and let us head over to the display settings to our desktop. If I right click it here, we now have a new entry for the display settings, which we can now open very, very fast. And here we are able to change our resolution, monitor scale and everything else. Great. That small shortcut here, especially if you installed the system and the resolution isn't correct at the moment. Let us head over to my downloads folder because I downloaded an ISO file. If I right click it here, we can now verify the ISO file much more easier. I open up verify and it now automatically calculates the SHA 250 six sum, which is now here. And I can verify it by clicking on verify. In this case, we have an error because I don't know the current version of ISO verification inserts a slash in here where we don't want to have a slash. So I delete these slashes here, select verify and now <laughs> it looks good. So this is a great new feature which makes the Linux installations much more secure in the future. Let us close our ISO verification tool. And if we want to make a bootable USB stick, we can now also find a button verify, which opens the ISO verification tool. Great new feature in my opinion. If you don't have an URL, you also can choose a local file or paste the checksum in here to check it. So you don't have to check every single letter of it. Perfect. I close it and let us head over to our last improvement I'm going to show you today. And this is our PPA section. If I open up software sources and I want to, for example, install OBS studio, then I have to add a PPA. I can copy the PPA link here and head over to the PPA section in our software sources. Then it's gonna paste. Then it is pasted automatically in here. I click OK and um, I click on OK. Now we have added a PPA. I click on OK and now everything works fine again because on Linux Mint 21, because on the last release, Linux Mint 21, if I updated the whole system, we got a warning about old key settings for PPAs, which is now fixed on Linux Mint 21.1. If you are upgrading from 21 to 21.1, you have to re-add all PPAs, then the warnings are gone. So that were the new key features from Linux Mint 21.1. Let's head us over to our desktop background. We have nice, cool backgrounds in here. For example, Switzerland, it looks very nice. Skiing, great computer art. Honestly, I don't know why this should be art. Germany looks also quite nice or Norway looks also great. Linux Mint 21.1 will receive security updates until 2027. So if you have an old Linux Mint version, I definitely recommend you to update to the newest Linux Mint version to enjoy all features. But if you're fine with your current release, then feel free to use them further on. The Linux Mint 20 series will get updates until 2025, but the Linux Mint 19 series will only be supported until April 2023. 
So I definitely recommend you to upgrade to the newest Linux Mint version. So that was it for today. If this video was helpful for you, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and see you in the next one. Bye.